we have one last game, Angelique, uh, that we are scheduled to play. Uh, we're hopeful, as Jim uh, said, that we can play it um, as uh, scheduled. Uh, we'll uh, get through uh, the next few days and uh, continue to monitor uh, the situation with COVID on our team and quarantines and all the things that we're dealing with now uh, that it led, had led us to this point. Uh, and so uh, what I mean by the end of the season is the end of our season. And uh, that is, we have one more game currently scheduled. And uh, that's uh, that's when the conversation at some point shortly after the season ends will begin. And just to clarify, Jim and I have always talked at the end of the season, always. So this is not a, you know, well, we're making this up this year. Um, you know, we sit down, we talk, we, um, you know, sometimes we'll talk in November and, and just in general to you know, get a sense. But, uh, and, and we've had a lot of conversations in between. It's not like we don't talk uh, almost on a, sometimes daily, depending on the issues, and sometimes weekly. It, it just, it, it's, I don't wanna make anybody feel or think that Jim and I have been sitting around just waiting and not talking to each other about things. We, we have had a lot to talk about. Uh, and uh, my coaches across the board, uh, and Jim has been a leader and phenomenal uh, in his efforts with his team. Um, he is co-chairing along with uh, uh, Hutch, our uh, COVID uh, coaches. He has led that. He has been there. He's committed to his team. He's committed to this department. He's committed to this university. So from, from my standpoint, um, he has uh, been doing everything. In, in, in at a high level, uh, including his efforts with the team. Uh, and so from, from that perspective, I just don't want people to get this sense that we, we're just sitting around and nobody's talking to each other and we're waiting and we're waiting. That, that is the furthest thing from the truth. We've had a lot to do and a lot of other things to talk about.